Hey so, Divine So here, you're welcome to the channel. If this is the first time stopping by, please do want to click on the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel, okay? Thank you so much for your support. So I have a message for the collective, all right? But please, you guys, take what resonates and leave what doesn't, as this may not resonate to everybody, okay? So um, I think this is like the continuation of the previous message that I did, where I talked about two people coming towards you. But in this case scenario, this is two people coming towards your person okay you and someone else coming towards your person so um i don't know if you're the receptionist or your person the, the other person that likes your person is the receptionist i don't know so take it out if i resonate with you but this is i was being shown something okay your person who i'm speaking to whoever this resonates this message resonates with i just said number 15 okay i just said number 15 Whoever this message resonates with, your person is venting to God regarding you. Your person is crying out to God concerning you. Your person is in their head about you. Your person is losing sleep because of you. I don't know if this is the prayer that you're praying. I don't know if it's your manifestation. I don't know what the heck you are doing, but somebody is going cuckoo over you. Somebody is struggling to sleep at night because of you. This is your person. I'm not talking about any ex. I mean your kingdom spouse, your person. All right. The message that I received is this person is frustrated and they're crying out to God. They're this person legit. I heard this person say, um, in this vision, right, that I had this person, I heard this person say, God, when are you sending my person to me? When are you going to bring my person to me? Okay, because I feel like this person is caught in, in between. This person is stuck. This person is in between this and that. Okay, so they are frustrated at the moment. Okay, so um, like I said in the previous message, I said this person has already gotten um message downloads in regards to you right but they are still um juggling a bit i'm getting like somebody that rejected someone okay so let me give you, give you instance say okay um god has shown your person who you are and this person because you are not the kind of person they're used to Okay, let me just see. Maybe physically, you're not their, their specs physically. You're not their specs physically. So God showed them to show them who you are. And they looked at you and they're like, this is not my person. <laughs> this cannot be my person. This is not the kind of person I'm used to, right? Because they have been used to dating people based off on the flesh. But now God is leading them to connect to you soulfully, right? So now this person has gotten the message, they've gotten the downloads, they've gotten the confirmation they need in regards to you, but they are still struggling to accept it because you are not, in quote, their spec. You are not the kind of person that they're used to dating. You are not the kind of person they're used to. Nah, you're not. So that's why this person is confused. This person is frustrated. And I legit heard this person crying out to God. This person is saying, God, when are you sending my person? All right? But this person, God has already reviewed you reviewed you to this person but they are still in doubt anyways so i need you to understand that as many times i will come and say kingdom spouse kingdom spouse i need you to understand this kingdom spouse is not just about getting married it is an anointed connection it is a connection with a purpose it is a divine connection of two people on a soul mission it is not about taking cute pictures for the gram it is it is not about cute pictures and all of those stuff I'm not saying that is not involved. I'm saying like if you are looking for or if you think Kingdom Spouse is all about, you know, taking cute, cute pictures, you know, showing off, that's not what Kingdom Spouse is about. Kingdom Spouse is about carrying out the mission, the mission that is meant for you both to carry out. OK, so if you are seeking for a Kingdom Spouse, I hope you know you have an assignment and I hope you know that God, you God bringing this person to you is so that you both can carry on on the divine assignment. I hope you know that. And I hope you are ready to go on that assignment with your person because you both are meant to create God's kingdom, right? So it is bigger than what it is. It's not just about, oh, I'm, I'm married. No, you have an assignment. You both have a mission. So the purpose of you both coming together is for the fulfillment of God's purpose, God's mission, God's will in this world, in this earth. All right. So if you're not ready for the assignment, this is not for you. So, um, kingdom spouse or kingdom connection, it is two souls coming together for the sole purpose of creation, creating God's kingdom, carrying out God's will, fulfilling divine destiny together. 
divine counterpart is a higher level union with higher calling mandate all right so kingdom spouse connection is for souls that are willing to do the work for god it is two souls coming together as one to do the will of the creator not their own will okay you and your person coming together you're not doing your will you're doing the will of god okay so that's why you, when you both come together you might be sent to maybe build a church um have a foundation you know um build an orphanage build something for sake of humanity that's why you both are coming together so if you feel like okay me and this person are coming together we'll just have babies and that's it no it's bigger than that all right so i need you to understand that kingdom spouse divine counterpart is a fifth dimension connection it is not a 3d connection i'm not saying you both will not have fun i'm not saying you both will not you know live the lifestyle i'm not saying you both do not enjoy luxury all i'm saying is that you both are more of the fifth dimensional connection it's not of the 3d base kind of connection no you both you both you've surpassed that okay you've healed your inner child trauma you've done the work you've you've completed the cycle and that's why you both are now in the fifth dimension and being in the fifth dimension means that you are ready to take on this assignment all right so that's what it's about this kingdom spouse is all about so i don't want you to think that okay kingdom spouse is just getting married to my person and we go to church together going to church together with your person is not kingdom spouse it's not kingdom marriage kingdom marriage is about creating building god's kingdom here on earth all right awakening people as well just as god has awakened you both that's what this is all about anyways let me move on so I heard that the runner is now the chaser. So this person has been running away from you. Okay, this person, maybe this person is not, is not ready to be committed. Maybe this person does not want to commit to anything, right? But now it's like, okay, they've seen you. God has shown them who you are. Okay, now they want to commit. And it feels like, like I always say, okay, focus on yourself. So it feels like now that you're focusing on yourself, this person, they are coming towards you. But right now, because they vented to God, because they spoke to God about you, like I legit saw somebody crying out to God, like, God, when are you sending my person? When is this person coming? So God is about to make the vision clearer. God already showed them this vision. God already showed them you. God already revealed this person, revealed you to this person. But they, they it's like they are still, they are not sure. Okay. So um, I feel like this is someone that has always been about the mind and not the soul okay this is someone that always take decision based off or make decision based off on what they see and not what they feel all right so um god is about to make the vision clearer to them and this confirmation will be the turning point of everything okay so um you and this person you both you both have been reformed okay you are you both are in your true energy i'm speaking to a god and a goddess okay you both are in your energy you know who you are you 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 know why you're here you know why god sent you here you both you you that's where you are right now that's your energy okay and i also heard that your ancestors they've agreed to this connection they've agreed to this union union so you both have been approved by your ancestors because you're meant to shine your light you both are meant to be seen by the world all right so currently you both are not committed to each other so you're not together this is someone new by the way this is i don't see this as someone you've dealt with in the past okay but i feel like this is like past life connection okay um you both could have had that connection in the past before you reincarnated that's what i'm, I'm getting from this message okay but you both are not committed to each other at the moment but this person is coming towards you also i'm getting like this person secretly admires you and they want to start afresh with you they think about you a lot they can't get their eyes they can't get their mind off you this person sees you as their destined partner and they want to be committed to you because they realize you both have a mission together the truth about you both has been revealed to them but they are still in doubt they are refusing to ad admit it or commit to the connection okay they realize that you are their wish come through they realize you are the missing piece but they are still in doubt maybe they are not used to someone like you maybe so this person is about to reconcile with you you both were hidden in plain sight to heal and also discover yourselves and now that you both have realized yourself you are getting ready to come together okay so i'm getting like you both had your fair share of experiences in the past you both had to go through the journey in the past for this for this moment right now god wants to replenish what you both missed out in the past okay you could have had cases where you were 
you know, you met with the wrong people, you didn't receive love from your other persons or okay, from your exes and all of that. And now it's like God wants to to bring you both together so that you both can enjoy and, and experience pure love. Okay. So let me tell you this. You both were set apart from each other for a reason. If you had met this person earlier, if they had met you earlier, you would have been distracted from your mission. Okay. So the purpose why you both were not together, the reason why you had to be apart was because you, you both needed to break generational curses before this meeting could take place. You both had to heal your inner child trauma before this connection could take place. So this person is coming not just to be friends with you, but this person is coming to get married to you. Okay, this person is learning how to trust their intuition when it comes to you and when it comes to this union. All right, so you both are meant to build generational wealth together. When you both come together, people will have so much to say about this connection. I'm telling you, like, this connection, this union will be like, out of the ordinary it will be it will be mouth i'm here mouth word three like people will have so much to say about your connection when this happens okay they 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 maybe in the past there were people that tried to sabotage this connection okay which is the people that you dealt with in the past the kind of people that you connected with in the past and the kind of people that they connected with in the past okay they those people that was that was being placed in their lives and in your life they were a form of distraction to distract you both from coming together but god had to remove those people because this is divine timing this is the right time for you both to meet all right so this year 2023 i'm telling you this person already got this awakening about you i'm telling you this okay and i heard november 11 so 11 11 could be significant okay so anyways um moving on the people that tried to stop this union, they have been removed. They have been cleared out. So it is time. The path has been made clear for you both to meet. You both have real DNA. You were both destined to be together ever since you were a child. Like before you came to this world and before this person came to this world, it was already written that so so and so is meant to be with this person. It was already written. But you both needed to be apart from each other because you needed to learn something first. You needed to break generational curse. You needed to heal the part of yourself that needed to be healed before you can come together. Okay, because when you talk about kingdom spouse, it's all about healed version. It's all about healed people, not broken people and healed person. No. You've dealt with your karmics. You dealt with those people that were holding you back. Now you both have been reformed and it is time for you to take on this assignment. That's why you both are coming together. So someone, this person is being guided to trust their intuition in regards to this union. They are aware of this connection. They are very much aware. Maybe you are aware as well, but they are confused right now and they are stuck in an indecisive state. In regards to this, you know, this person is thinking too much. Like, God, is this this person? Is it this person? Am I am I am I making the wrong, the wrong choice? Am I? Are you sure, God? I, that's what this person is going through right now. Your person is going through a lot. Like, they are fighting within themselves because they're trying to understand. They don't want to make a mistake. So it's like this person is trying to come out of them of their comfort zone. They're trying to date or be with someone that is outside of the kind of person that they've already pictured in their head. All right, so this this connection is is more like uh, I don't know how to explain, but it's like something that people don't see coming. That's how I feel, and that's the best way I can put this connection. Okay, so you both had to go through the journey for the sole purpose of first breaking generational curse to enable you both transition. This was part of God's plan. This was part of the universe plan. You and this person are not together. You are distant. Okay, this person could be from another country or from another country as well. Um, but this person is constantly, I'm telling you, this person is constantly talking to God about you. Maybe you're doing the same, right? But I need you to understand that you both share pure love and the path for you both to meet is already open so you both are sculptured by god differently this person has already found out about you they are about to come in quickly to protect you because they see you as a priceless possession you both are your force to reckon and you have been both marked by god to be together this connection is the major deal i'm telling you like when you both come together people will have so much to say i'm, I'm telling you you both will be committed to each other you both will fill each other's cup and complement each other <laughs> okay you both have the support of the divine you both have the support of god your ancestors if people don't support you which possibility is people will not support you in this earthly realm but i'm telling you you have major support in the ethers you have 
people, your angels, your ancestors, this person's, um, this person's, um, what I'm calling, I wanted to say, this person's family member, if they have any, like any family member that passed on already, or you have any family member that passed on already, this person's family member and your family member that passed on, they've come together and they agreed for this connection to happen. Okay, so you both cannot be stopped. You both are earth angels. I'm speaking to you and your person. You both are earth angels. You both are star seeds, okay? And you are spiritual guides. You've been sent here to lead people, to guide people. So you could be like a minister, pastor, prophet, prophetess, spiritual teacher, guru, you know, any of those sorts, okay? Spiritual person, that's what I'm saying, okay? But you both feel each other's energy, which is where, like, it's like, when this person is thinking about you, when you're thinking about this person, they feel your energy, you feel their energy. When you think about them, you just come, you just see them or something like that. That's how I feel here, okay? So uh, maybe you've seen this person's picture or this person has seen your picture, but there's something about somebody looking at you and having so much thoughts about you, okay? Even though you're far from them, even though you're apart from each other, like, you both still feel your energy connects. You draw in into each other. You call in each other. Your energy comes comes like it's magnetic that's what i feel here all right so you both stand out you both are uniquely different that's why you're star seed one of a kind all right you both are set apart from the crowd you both have successfully completed the cycle so get ready to experience purpose-filled days filled with god's goodness god's love and god's grace that's all i have to say here okay i just don't want this message to be too lengthy so your life path number or your person's life num life path number could be 1, 12, 8, 5, or 7. Your best month or your person's best month could be January or December, August, May, or July. Then your zodiac sign or your person's zodiac sign could be Aries, Capricorn, Cancer, Taurus, and Leo. But let me say, let me, let me tell you this, right? Be positive and trust in the power of divine timing. Your person is losing sleep over you and in the right time they just need to adjust okay they are not used to your your kind of person your energy your presence so they need time to adjust so just give them time allow things happen allow things unfold in its own timing and trust that everything will happen when it's meant to happen that's what i have to tell you in regards to this mystery case okay? so keep believing in god keep praying for them keep praying for yourself and know that as long as you both are in alignment, God will bring you both together in divine timing. So that's the message I have for you guys. And I hope that this message gives you peace and clarity. Till next time, divine blessings.